I can't believe they cancelled Viva Piñata. It had talking CGI piñatas. What more do you want? Hey, look, it's some random stranger we've never met before. Excuse me, pal, but have you seen any minor characters from Season 1 around here? Actually, guys, it's me, Bakora. I was a minor character in Season 1, remember? Sorry, pal, doesn't ring a bell. Wait, were you one of the Paradox Brothers? Maybe he's Yugi's grandpa. I'm standing right over here. It's still possible. Look, guys, Mako Tsunami is performing at the local aquarium. Mako Tsunami? I'd recognize him anywhere. He's the minorest of minor characters. I smell a card game. Oh, come on. You remember that wanker, but you don't know who I am? We go to the same bloody school. Tristan, is that guy talking to us? It's difficult to say. Oh, sod off. Ha <laughs> I, Mako Tsunami, love the ocean and all the creatures that dwell within it. That is why I forced this captured whale to perform degrading tricks for the amusement of the Japanese public. Yo, freaky fish guy! What are you doing working in an aquarium? I figured you'd be trying to win the Battle City tournament like everybody else. A lot has changed since Season 1, Joey Wheeler. I am not the duelist I used to be. You see, the ocean and I... We are separated. Well, you heard me. We are divorced. Now I'm dating this aquarium, which is a pretty sweet gig, actually. She's a lot younger than the ocean, which has its benefits. And she appreciates me, unlike my ex-wife, who would always give me the silent treatment. Isn't that right, aquarium? The aquarium says yes. Look, I don't care about any of that stuff. I just want to play a card game with you. Well, you should care, Joey Wheeler, because it's your fault the ocean left me in the first place. What the heck are you talking about? Ever since you called me a freaky fish guy, I haven't been able to escape it. All over the world, people see me and shout, Hey, it's that freaky fish guy. Wanna throw a harpoon at us, freaky fish guy? And all because I once threw a harpoon at somebody. Does that mean I deserve to be labeled a freaky fish guy? It's not like I make a habit out of it. Hey, Dad, I wanna see the freaky fish guy make the whale jump over a rock like in Free Willy. Gah! Mako? What? That could have been anybody's harpoon. Get your motor running. Head out on the highway. Looking for adventure, and whatever comes our way- Ah, what the crap! You almost got us both killed, jackass! So you are the source of the gay signal I've been tracking, though I probably could have deduced that without the use of my gaydar. It seems we what? both have- Whoa, whoa, hold on now. You think I'm- Look, I'll have you know that I like women. No doubt. That's probably why you've dressed yourself like one. Face it, you're about as manly as a Square Enix character. Shall I call you Captain Bosch from Dalmasca? Silence, fool! I would run you down with my obligatory anime motorcycle, but I just noticed you have a Millennium item. What is the deal with that? Oh, my Millennium Ring. Yes, that's mine. I use it to manipulate the fabric of time and space, bending it to my will in order to create shambling monstrosities that feed on the souls of the living. And sometimes I just use it to find gay people. Why would you want to do that? Secretly, I'm very lonely. You are going to pay for ruining my marriage, Joey Wheeler. And when I defeat you in this children's card game, you will have no choice but to admit that I am not a freaky fish guy. If I do, will you promise to stop throwing harpoons at people? I only did it twice. It's not like I'm... Then what about Grandpa? Okay, maybe I went a little overboard. A little? Well, what else am I supposed to do with a harpoon? That's your answer to everything, isn't it? Just throw a harpoon at the problem. You sound just like my ex-wife, even though she never actually said anything. And that's why you guys ended up getting divorced, because you didn't communicate. You can't build a healthy relationship on- Listen, I would sooner kill myself than take relationship advice from a furry. So please, shut your damn mouth before I harpoon it shut. My name is Maddock. I don't care. Well, that was kinda insensitive. No wonder you're so lonely. Oh, like you're Mr. Popular. I don't need friends. I have brainwashed an army of Steves to do my bidding in order to defeat the Pharaoh and claim his power for my own. Also, I might kill him. You might kill him? You mean you don't know? Look, I never said my plan was well thought out. 
just that it was incredibly evil. Still seems like a rather important detail to just skim over like that. Well, excuse me, princess. Your plan isn't much better, you know. What, you're going to wait 200 episodes just so that you can give an eyeball to a guy and hope he flies to Egypt with it? It's all in the execution. Well, if it were me, then I would use mind control. Like some sort of malevolent puppet master. Or a Jedi. Or maybe we could slice Yugi open with a machete. See if that works. I have a better idea. We should totally hang out. With my evilness and your Britishness, we would be unstoppable. Why are you British anyway? I'm not British. I'm just gay. I remember the first time I met the ocean. It was love at first sight. My father and I were fishing together when a huge tidal wave came and nearly destroyed our boat. It took my father, and I never saw him again. That is why I dedicated my life to loving the sea and all of its inhabitants. So let me get this straight. The ocean killed your dad. And then you married it. That is correct. And he wonders why we call him a freaky fish guy? Er, for the last time, I am not a freaky fish guy. And I shall harpoon everybody in this aquarium to prove my point. Mako, stop. What? I never understood it before, Mako, but now I get it. I always thought that you were just some sort of cliched minor character who took his ocean obsession too far. But you're more than that. You're just trying to confuse me. No, Mako. This is straight from the heart. You are not a freaky fish guy, Mako. You are THE freaky fish guy. And that's why people love you. Because you gave us something special. Something most Yu-Gi-Oh characters don't even have. You gave us a catchphrase. <laughs> Suddenly, I miss the ocean. And she misses you, Mako. It's not too late, you know. You can still be with her. Hey! Hurry up and finish the card game! Some of us are bleeding to death! I concede this victory to you, Joey Wheeler. You've made me realize that being a minor character isn't always a bad thing. Sometimes those are the most cherished characters of all. Like Boba Fett from Star Wars. Dude, don't even compare yourself to Boba Fett. You got a long way to go before you reach his level. Reach his level? He was killed by a blind man. Oh, sounds like somebody is unfamiliar with the expanded universe. Indeed. Here, take my legendary fisherman and my two locator cards. Where I'm going, I won't need them. Wait, did they even play a card game? So we are agreed. The Pharaoh is our common enemy. And the enemy of my friend is also my enemy. That's not how it goes. Oh, whatever. The point is, we are going to join forces. We shall unite in our evil quest to vanquish Yugi Moto and destroy everything he holds dear. And also, we should share beauty tips. I love what you do with your hair. L'Oreal, because I'm worth it. I think we did that joke already. Soon the mind raping shall commence. What the devil was that? Foreshadowing. It happens. I believe this is called thief shipping. You believe what is called what? To be wild. To be wild. Head on. Apply directly to the forehead. Head on. Apply directly to the forehead. I've been such a fool. You were always there for me, even when you were being so distant. I've looked at other large bodies of water, but none of them even compare to your beauty. Ocean, I love you. And I want to start all over again. If you're willing to have me, that is. Just say the word, and I'm yours. Forever.